Welcome back to Pure Data Tutorial Series. In this video, we finally get control over time and timing. And the heart of time, mostly in Pure Data, is the metro object. The metro object feeds out or gives out a bang. We already know that it's the Pure Data version of execute it or do it now information. We can visualize it with a bang button because this will nicely flash around. Metro gives out a bang every millisecond, recording according to the argument. So every thousand milliseconds, which will be then a second, Metro outputs a bang. But we have to start it and stop it. To start it, we send a one or a zero to stop it. And we can also use shift command T. The toggle button which is also only outputting one and zero basically but it's a bit more visually representative so we change it if we start it running we see okay every second metro will bang if we stop it and i erase them and use the checkbox it's on and off we can change the speed by changing the argument. Now Metro is banging every half a second, so every 500 milliseconds. And of course we can use a number box to overwrite this argument with the code inlet. And now it's way too fast for the button animation to show what's happening. But now we see, okay, as soon as we slow it down to like every 400 milliseconds and so forth, Metro will bang out. So this is taking care of milliseconds, but we can also send a tempo message to change the tempo style. So we do tempo and say one second. Now it's banging only in seconds. So we now can say argument is one. So now every second Metro is banging because we've fed the tempo information. Okay, please do count in steps of one second. And there are several options. We can say now we do m seconds, like milliseconds again. And now, of course, Metro is like spinning around in milliseconds again. But very handy musically is we can do it in beats per minute. And then we say, for example, one. 120 per min and we get nicely 120 beats per minute or we say for example we need 200 bpm now metro is banging at 200 beats per minute that's very handy if you want to uh, do it in like musically bpm calculation beats per minute like this and if you want to change this fast you can use our dollar sign variable dollar one and then use a number box like this and you know you remember the dollar one now gets replaced by the number you feed in and now you have a nice bpm calculation so we say 300 bpm and go up as high as you want or say 20 bpm nice now we are very very slow and you get a nice bpm counter that yeah you can extend to your own wishes. Another idea, if you want to do very accurate and coding, audio coding um, exact macros, metros, banks, you can set it also to calculate in sample accuracy. So you can say tempo $1 sample. And now it is super fast because our sample rate is, I think, 48,000 kilohertz. So now it's actually, it's coding in, now we have to do it in one. So now it's doing one sample cycles. And of course, sorry for the confusion. In this case, we have to feed it here because now it's calculating very fast in one sample and cycles. And if we turn the argument up, up and up we soon should be able to see a result ah finally now every 2752 samples metro will shoot out so this is very important if you want to calculate or get control over time in sample 
accuracy. Again, this routine helps sample accurate timing and tempo dollar one per minute. Sorry, I have to use a message box, of course. Tempo dollar one per minute and metro and a number box up here. And we use the nice little flashy button down here and the turn toggle on and off friend over there gives you a nice BPM counter. So this structure is beats per minute. And then you remember your sub patch PD BPM, for example, we do inlet like this. Then we do this. Just copy paste. And we make, oh, sorry, I connected both. That was wrong. So the tempo, only one is connected, and the outlet, another one is connected. So, like this. Then we need an outlet. And now we have a nice metronome. We feed in the BPM, get out a visual representation. And to turn it on, maybe we want to turn it on all the time. So we remember load bang because this gives a bang at startup patch and we send not a number box, but we send the message one. And this makes Metro, uh, let's place it here, feed it here. Oh, that's too much. One line too much. It's a bit ugly. So we place it here and an inlet over there. So now that's tidy and clear. We see at startup patch, it will start Metro running and then it will be a BPM counter. We send it once that is always working. So this way you have a sub patch, a BPM counter, super nice. You only do it once and then you can copy paste it all the time and you have a nice and tidy metronome within pure data.